how do we factor quadratics when a does not equal to zero? So notice that we have a quadratic equation written in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. So we have our variable squared term written first, and then our variable term, and then our constant. So we have in our 2x squared minus x minus 1, we have it written in this ax squared plus bx plus c. And so since the a is the number in front of the x squared, this is an example where a is equal to 2. If a was equal to 1, we could use a shortcut strategy but in this case, because a is equal to 2, we can't use that shortcut strategy. So I'll walk through how we can do this problem when a is not equal to 1. And while I'm identifying my a, let's go ahead and identify the b. Our b is equal to the number in front of the x term. Well, we just have a minus sign. When there's no number written, we can assume that it's an invisible 1. So b is equal to negative 1. And our c, because that's just our constant, that one's easier to identify. That one's just negative 1. Okay, so what's the strategy? The strategy when we're factoring a quadratic when a is not equal to 1 is we start by finding two numbers that multiply to give us a times c. Well, a times c is 2 times negative 1. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. So in this case, we're looking for a number or two numbers that multiply to give us negative 2. And those same two numbers that also add to give us b. So our b is negative 1. So let me write down that formula really quick is we're looking for two numbers that multiply to give us a times c and also add to give us b. Okay, so figuring out what are two numbers that multiply to give us negative 2 and also add to give us negative 1, that is negative 2 and positive 1 works to multiply to negative 2 and also negative 2 plus 1 also gives us negative 1. In order to find these, um, I would start, if you're not sure what these are, you could start by writing out some factors of your number, your AC number, um, to help you figure those out if you need help figuring those out. Okay, so now, once we've found these two numbers, what do we do with them? We take these two numbers and we're breaking up our middle term into two terms with these coefficients. So we'll bring down the 2x squared, and then instead of writing negative x or minus x, we're going to say minus 2x and plus 1x. So we've broken this minus x down into two terms that are like terms, so they both have x's in them, but ha are using these as the coefficients, these special numbers that we just found. Then we'll bring down the minus 1. Okay, so now that we've broken up our middle term into two, the next step, we're going to group the first two terms together and the second two terms together. And this is where the name of this strategy comes in. The name of this strategy is called factoring by grouping. So we're gonna group the first two terms as a group, the second two terms as a group, and then we see what we can pull out of each of those terms. So these first two terms have the number 2 in them, so we can pull out a 2. We also have, this term has x squared and this one has an x, so we have commonly a single x, so we can pull out a 2x. What's left out of 2x squared after we take out a 2x? We would have an x left there. And what's left out of minus 2x if we pull out a 2x? Everything's going to pull out, but we still need to, except for the minus, well, we still need to have a placeholder there, so we'll put a minus 1. 
Okay, next we're going to factor our second two terms. What's common between positive x, positive 1x, and minus 1? There's really not anything that we can pull out there, but we still need to put a plus, uh, a placeholder. So let's put that down as plus 1. And then we don't have to write our 1 coefficient here, so we can just write this as x minus 1. Okay, so now that we've factored by grouping, what we can do is notice that what's inside the brackets or parentheses is the same thing. So now I'm going to take what is inside my parentheses and I'm going to factor that out to the front. So I'm going to put my x minus 1 out in the front. And what's left in my first term? My first term has a 2x that's left, so I'll put that as the first term in my next bracket or parentheses. And then what's left out of this second term is a plus 1. So that'll be my next term in my parentheses. And there we go. We have factored into a factored form that we have two sets of brackets multiplied by each other. So this would be the final answer of factoring this quadratic. Okay, well I hope this video was helpful. Thanks to Aaron for requesting this problem to be explained. And if you have any other questions or if you have a question on this particular problem, feel free to leave those in the comments or I have my email listed in the description that you can send me an email if you have a, a picture of a question that you'd like help with. Well, thanks for watching and happy studies.